Hello from Edinburgh. We're spending the weekend here to film Christmas in Edinburgh. We love the city so much. It has such a great atmosphere, doesn't it? Yes. Our only concern is the weather. Yeah. Sadly, it's out of our control and we hope you will still enjoy the video. I just need to give you a little room tour of the so-called Chorma Abide here in Edinburgh's new town. As you can see, it's styled in a beautiful Victorian decadence. I absolutely love this deep green in combination with the yellow velvet curtains. That looks amazing. I don't really remember how I came across this place. I think I was looking for a very lovely place in Edinburgh on Google and somehow this popped up and it's so nice. We can really recommend it. So I need to show you something because we we had a little bit of an accident last night. So we were sleeping and then we heard something and then one of these gorgeous antique pictures came down and yeah, that's the cord and I don't know, accidents like that happen but it's a gorgeous room as you can see. There's a sofa, and I do love the antique furnishings in here. You know, this room reminds me just of a castle in Scotland. It's, it just somehow reflects the magic of Edinburgh. As you can see, we do have whiskey here and we have a lovely tea station with, we do have loose tea, so we have Darjeeling and wild berry infusion we have tea bags it's so great and by the way i do love these lights look this is very unusual so it's just such a great room and look at this amazing and massive <laughs> mirror Jörg and I said if we had a library, which we don't, a colour like this would be beautiful. So there's also a desk slash vanity. I really love the lights in here. That's so Victorian. So Vixie, the owner, did a great job. And here's the bathroom with amazing green tiles. It looks so nice, doesn't it? I also love the upholstery. That goes so well with the wall colour. The furnishings are just great. Great room. Christmas in Edinburgh, I'm afraid. Nothing you can do, it's still nice, but fingers crossed for some dry spells. Yeah, Charlotte's award-winning fudges. Yeah. Fancy, fancy fudge? No, not for yeah. lunch. <laughs> no, we have lunch first.
we just came back to the room for a little bit because it's raining in Edinburgh. Yes, it's very wet outside. We're not we're not very lucky this weekend, but well, we we have to make the best of it. So, what's also so interesting, the owner of the Trauma Abide, Vixie, is also the owner of the of the amazing tailor shop, Stuart Christian Co. Yes, and it's a very old one. I think it was founded 720. Yes, I think that's so amazing. So before we came here, we said we have to go there and at least have a browse. Yes, because they've got amazing things in Tweed. Oh, gosh, yeah. So we need to go and have a look. Maybe we can film a little bit. We will see. Trauma Abide is behind Stuart Christie and we found this wonderful accommodation on the Airbnb. If you stay there, you can also have breakfast in the tiny, tiny tea room that is part of this stunning tailoring shop. Right now, we're not really able to film. No. It's so bad. It's raining cats and dogs. It is. But we have a reservation for lunch. So this is what we do now. And fingers crossed it will just stop after that or yeah. at least ease off a little bit. Gentle folks of Edinburgh, welcome to Rex Rampant's sensational show of magic and mystery. Forget Caesar's palace and the house of Houdini. You found your way to Rex's castle. This weekend, everything seems to be against us. I don't know. Yes, nothing is going to plan. Absolutely nothing. We have heavy rain and we just went to Edinburgh Castle because there is the, the event, Castle of Light with yeah. amazing illuminations. But we couldn't film anything because of the wind and the rain. We uh, tried to film like a tiny bit, but there are strong gales up yes. there. And I, I honestly, I'm disappointed because we yeah. we planned this for for months. Yes. Because we wanted to film something special for, for the channel. Yes. So and Edinburgh is so nice. It is. Well, the thing is, if you plan something like this, you just can't yeah. really plan it. <laughs> yeah. Unless you plan something that is only inside. So we have another night here. Um, we. I don't know, we can only hope for, for a little bit of better weather yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. What now, do you think? All will be fine tomorrow and we'll come to the film tomorrow morning. You think? Yes. <laughs> the thing is, I'd love to go to the Ferris wheel, but I have wet feet, so yeah. what to do? Going back to the room. I could change my socks. Yes, and then get cozy. I could change my socks. No, no. it won't help because you're 
shoes are wet. Yeah, we are so sorry about this, but that's the weather and it's out of our control. Fancy a sausage. Look, they do have kakawa. Do you want one? Do you want a kakawa? No, no, not that. <laughs> Sounds very German. Yes, very much. And look what it says. Coffee. Coffee René, your original German sausage. Passion for food. Well, it would actually be a reason to try it. Look. Oh, and we just had dinner. Look. Yeah. Bratkartoffeln. Bratkartoffeln. Yeah. See? Yes. <laughs> Good morning. So we are about to have breakfast any minute now, but before we leave the room, we wanted to show you something. Yes, we got a nice tweed jacket from Stuart Christie yesterday. And I remember so well. Do you know, about, I think at least three years ago or four years ago, that was pre-COVID. Yeah. You wanted something. You wanted a tweed jacket. Yes, it I was, always wanted one. Yeah, it was on your list. Not only the you have the tweed coat, which is amazing. I love that. Yeah, now I've got a tweed jacket. Yes, so we went to Stuart Christie and Co. and we loved it. Yeah, like the 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 people and the shop is just yes, it's very lovely. Like a bit old fashioned. The atmosphere yes, is yes. amazing. So you feel lovely, very comfortable there. Yes. This is the amazing tweet jacket that we got for Jörg. And we really love the tweet. It's amazing, yes. isn't it? Yeah, I love the colour. Me too. So you can see brown and the the blue stripes look wonderful. But you need to show us what it looks like on. Looks gorgeous. Yes, I feel very much like a gentleman now. <laughs> and... The funny thing is, you do suit this space now, this room. Yeah. Looks wonderful, really nice, and works well with the blue trousers as well. Yeah. Now, these are the boots that I got four years ago. I pretty much wear them all the time, and we hardly ever buy shoes. So, as you can see, they are very worn and start to fall apart, I think, they need to be refurbished because I simply can't part with them. But we bought a new pair yesterday. So we got these from a brand called Joseph Cheney and Sons, an amazing brand. And they do make the shoes in, in uh, Northamptonshire in England. These are the new boots and they are absolutely stunning. I do love the colour and just the... The entire design so another pair that I will be wearing non-stop I'm pretty sure and I love a timeless and classic shoe I always wear these kind of shoes with everything trousers skirts dresses always looks amazing so yesterday when we went to Stuart Christie we also browsed the ladies section and I spotted some amazing black boots but I always prefer brown. I think, I I don't know, if I think brown goes with everything and you are a little bit limited with black. It's just my, my personal taste and I just love the design and I asked Vixie if, if the shoes would be available in brown but she said no. The amazing thing about Vixie is she also designs shoes and Cheney makes them for, for her. So she said we should go to Cheney and have a look. Maybe they have brown ones and they did. So it seems like such a great brand, especially because the shoes are made in England. So yeah, very classic, timeless, and I think long lasting, which is something we always 
really love. This is our breakfast place, Leah's Beanery. It's raining again. I think we only had a couple of hours this entire weekend without rain. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you can do. No. This is, I believe, our fourth time in Edinburgh. We were always so lucky. Yes. But, we never had rain. Yeah, but I think the main difference is this is the first time we we are here in winter. So, and it's usually there's a lot of rain in Edinburgh. So we were always so lucky. Not this time. So sorry about it, but what can you do? In this building, you find the Signet Library where you can have amazing afternoon tea. I don't know, when, when, when did we visit? Was it four years ago? Four years ago, yes. It was, it was amazing. Yes, because it's set in a very gorgeous library. Yes. So, and it's like afternoon tea with books. So, but today, this afternoon, we're going to have afternoon tea somewhere else. So, yeah. something to look forward to. And you know what I what I look forward to, Jörg? Not only the food, but being warm and cosy. Let's see if I can catch a glimpse for you into the library. I'm not sure. People are in there enjoying their food. You probably can't see it, but it's a lovely place. So if you're here, you might want to visit. This is beautiful Victoria Street. I wish we could show it to you without rain, but it's set to be one of the inspirations for Diagon Alley and Harry Potter, and it's stunning. For most of this video, we can't use Yurt's amazing camera because the rain is quite heavy and it would destroy it so I'm really sad about that. And just by total coincidence we stumbled upon Greyfriars graveyard in the middle of the old town yeah. which is and I'd love to have a look. So JK Rowling actually took inspiration for some of the names she used yeah. in Harry Potter. So we might find them here. We should find a name, McGonagall, Rivel, and I think Moody. Let's have a look and maybe we find some of them. Yeah. 
actually quite a creepy graveyard in the middle of the old town here, but very fascinating. Here we have the Potters. This is Anne Potter here, Robert Potter. This is so unusual because we are in the middle of the of the city and this cemetery is from the 16th century. It's amazing. We found William McGonagall and if you want to come here, this is here in the area which is called Fl Flood and Wall. Yeah. What do you think about the cemetery? It's fascinating, isn't it? I like it. Um, me too. Because of the names and the history. And I just think because it's in the middle of the city yeah. and houses are right behind it, yeah. it's so fascinating. It's unexpected. Yes. See here, flood and wall, 16th century city walls. long time. No, no. It's been really dry here. <laughs> a couple of hours, no rain. Everything else is like a downpour. Yeah. How would you describe this weekend or, or this video? Wet, wet, a wet. A very wet, festive visit. Yeah. Wet, wet, wet. To Edinburgh. Wet, wet, wet. What is it? Oh yeah, look. still makes me so incredibly sad that we couldn't film the illuminations there last night but it would be the same today yeah. it's absolutely it's impossible um <sighs> yeah and now we came to the Belmoral Hotel to the Palm Port for a festive afternoon tea yes. Looking forward to some I'm, treats? I'm really looking forward to it, yes. They have some lovely festive drinks. I think I'm going to have Christmas tea. What about you? We were also, also thinking about the butterscotch hot chocolate. That's what I'm going to take because I really like to see what, how that tastes. Yeah, I think all of it is really good, so I don't know. Rose hot chocolate. Yep. Sounds good too. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely pumpkin soup. Okay, I totally forgot the name of mine, but it looks good. <laughs> this is chicken liver coffee. Yeah, and a beetroot taka. <laughs> looks funny. Yeah. Good. Very. This is a very dark gluten-free bread with salmon, and it looks delicious. The Christmas tea is so nice. This looks like a dream boat. Yeah. Oh wait! You are the dream boat. I don't look like a ship. You don't look like a ship. No, I'm not a boat. Now 
I wonder, will the tea be better because it was presented that way? What do you know. think? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably not as hot as you think because on the way down it could cool. Well, the way he presented it is at least very, I don't know, yeah. it's like a show. Yes, it's like a show. Yeah. Um, so, let me, let me show you. I went for emperor breakfast tea, Yerk's tea, I can smell it from here because it's so strong. This is Lapsang Souchong, yes. correct? He, he has it at work and he needs to, he almost has to seal it because it's so strong. I really fancy a scone. You as well? You're going for the scone now? Yes. Oh, you, you're doing the... No! You're going... You're going for the Cornish way today. That's the Cornish way. Jam first and then the glotted cream. And I'm doing it the other way around. So we go home with some loose tea. This is Banwara breakfast tea and I really love breakfast tea. Also, it was so much food we couldn't just... we are so full. So they also brought some pastries. These are the gluten-free pastries but we couldn't manage all the it's food. It's too much. It's just too much and because we have to go home we have some treats for a break in between, yeah. I'd say. Yes, very rainy, very wet. Didn't go as planned, very higgledy piggledy, but we hope you will still enjoy the video. So, <laughs> I mean, we've been quite lucky with filming this year, yeah. so we can't complain. So, yeah. as always, we'll see you again very soon. So, thank you so much for your support, and um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. 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 Now that we're leaving, there's no rain right now, but I'm so sad because we would have loved to film more at the castle, which you can see here. It looks amazing, but it didn't work out. <laughs>